So we'll talk a little bit about the seven diamond now. I'm going to talk to you about the X's and O's of the seven diamond, how kids are going to line up. Also talk to you about the Jimmy's and Joe's of the seven diamond. You know, if you've got a good player, where do you put him? If you've got a mediocre player, where do you put him? Things of that nature. Onward. All right. This is what the seven diamond looks like. This is your basic seven diamond. You've got four defensive backs. You've got a Mike linebacker, a safety, two cornerbacks. Everyone else is on the line. You've got a nose guard. You've got defensive guards. You've got uh, guys that I call them forwards. And then you've got defensive ends on each side. We'll talk about each one of those as we progress. All right, your player requirements. All right. First guy we're going to talk about is our middle linebacker. I call him Mike. He is your your quintessential linebacker. He's the guy that likes to go tackle. Um, you know, in in youth football, you're you're going to have those kids that don't yet, you know, they haven't yet gotten religion for contact. They're uh they're they're not really excited about it. Then you're going to have the kids that they were born for this. They are excited about going and tackling people. They are excited about putting pads on pads and tackling the guy with the ball. That guy is your Mike linebacker, right? And you want him to be aggressive. You want him to be someone that chases that running back down and brings him down. He doesn't necessarily have to be the fastest guy on your team or the strongest guy on your team. Ideally, he is the most aggressive guy on your team. You've got a safety. I call him Sam. And uh, he needs to be a good tackler. He also is going to deal with coverage. You want him to have um, pretty decent football IQ because he is also going to be directing your, uh, your secondary. He's going to be talking between the cornerbacks and, you know, telling them, okay, watch so-and-so. Remember, if you've got you know, tight end number 46, keep an eye on him, things like that. He's going to be doing a lot of that talking. He needs to be smart. He needs to be fast. And um, he also needs to, if he's a good open field tackler, that's going to make your life a little bit better as well. Your nose. Yeah, I'm calm a nose guard, calm a nose tackle, whatever you like. He's the guy in the middle. Ideally, he's strong and he needs to be obedient, right? You guys have seen it. You've heard it before. When your defensive linemen stand straight up, they will get owned. They will get beat by smaller kids. That's why this kid needs to be trainable. I don't care how big he is. He will not be successful if he does not stay low and does not do what you tell him to. He's going to be a key part of your defense. We'll talk a little bit more about him later. Your defensive guards, these are your minimum play kids, right? Now, again, this is the, the name of this presentation is Seven Diamond Defense for Youth Football. And in most of these youth leagues, you're going to have minimum play rules. Your kids are going to have to have some minimum plays. And really, even if you don't have a rule as far as how many plays these kids get, you need to have a plan of what you're going to do with your weaker kids. If you don't have a plan for them, if your plan is sit them on the bench and hope they don't come back next year, then I've got news for you. And the news is that you are not a very good coach. You need to get better and you need to get better by using all of your resources. 